Hi, my name is Sasha Yulman, and I'm the Director of Diabetes Education and Prevention Programs at the Association of Diabetes Care and Education Specialists. I am going to give you a brief overview of how the National Emergency 1135 Waiver has impacted Diabetes Self-Management Training, DSMT or DSMES, um, billing. So first of all, um, one of the changes that was made early on with this waiver is that all Medicare beneficiaries have access to telehealth. Previously, telehealth services were only accessible for people living in rurally designated areas. So now all Medicare beneficiaries have access to telehealth services. The next thing they did was change how telehealth services could be received. Previously, beneficiaries who had access to telehealth had to go to an originating site, which means they had to travel to usually a clinic or a health center in order to receive telehealth services. And they have changed that through this waiver that people can receive telehealth services from their home using a phone with audio and video, so a smartphone typically. Um, another change that they made to the telehealth waiver is that um, people can be seen if they're new patients. So previously it was only accessible for established patients. And so now if you have a new patient who needs to be seen and can and has access to telehealth, that can be utilized. Finally, in order to bill for telehealth services on March 30th, Medicare came out with sort of detailed guidelines on using the regular billing code. So for DSMT, you would use G0108 for one-on-one -on -one or G0109 for group. And then the modifier place of service 11 is for would have been done in the clinic and the modifier 95 also to indicate telehealth services. So two modifiers. Thank you.